Well, I think the most exciting aspect of the website is the interactive timeline. That goes from babyhood through to adolescence and covers the full range of the topics covered in the book. So the person who um, goes to this website can, can make lots and lots of cross-references between the different topics. To me, that's a very important aspect because virtually every entry has cross-references to other entries. So collectively, the person who accesses this website potentially can gain a huge amount of knowledge. I hope that this information has also been presented in a visually interesting way. There are links to video clips, for example, the English and Romanian Adoptees Project is linked to some fascinating video material about real life experiences of the, the children and their adoptive families and the experiences that they had after they were brought over from Romania following very difficult early experiences. To me, that sort of material really illuminates the text. So there are video links, there are also links to useful articles, academic articles, government reports, um, important reports commissioned by charities and NGOs. There's also um, links to multiple choice questions that the student can use to check that they are, their knowledge is, is okay or to test the areas of weakness. For the lecturer, there are PowerPoint slides for every chapter in the book. Now, of course, every lecturer will want to customise these in their own way, but this at least gives them a basic framework covering the outline of the chapter. Then the lecturer can link those um, slides to some of the links on the website. There are case studies as well. These supplement the case studies in the book, but there are additional ones for those who'd like to use this sort of resource for work in class, for experiential group work in class, to enhance people's learning. Some of it can be used, for example, for role play or for small discussion groups. There are very many ways in which you, this interactive timeline can be used. I'm aware that it will have to be updated from time to time, and I hope that readers and users of the website will communicate with me uh, so that regularly this material can be made up to date.